Number 49, I want to solve for n here. Well, to do this, we simply have to get a common denominator. Once all the denominators are equal, we know the numerator pieces up top, the left will have to equal to the right. So first, let's get a common denominator. Well, we have an n and n plus 2 and n plus 3. So I can see that this n plus 2 needs an n, which means the top's going to get an n. He also needs a what? An n plus 3 because he doesn't have that. So we're going to have an n plus 3 for him up there. Let's deal with this n. This n, he's going to get an n plus 2, and he's going to get an n plus 3. Because we've got to have a common denominator. It's going to have to be all three of those guys multiplied. So this 2 gets an n plus 2 and an n plus 3. And finally, this n plus 3. He needs an n plus 2. So the 5 is going to get an n plus 2. And it also needs an n. So it's also going to get an n. At this point, your denominators are all the same. It's an n times an n plus 2 times an n plus 3. So we can just set the numerators equal to one another. Now, I'm just going to erase this, give myself more room. So up top, I have 2 times an n plus 2 times an n plus 3 plus 3n times an n plus 3 equaling a 5n times a uh, n plus 2. That's what we end up with. So let's see what happens. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and multiply these guys because binomial times binomial I can do pretty easily. n times n, I got n squared. You have 2n and 3n. That's going to be 5n. 2 times the 3 is 6. Here we're going to get 3n squared. 3n times the 3 is 9n. Over here we have 5n squared plus 10n. Just distributing the 5n through, and I distributed the distributed the 3n through. So now we need to distribute this 2 through to each piece. So we get 2n squared plus 10n plus 12 plus the 3n squared plus the 9n equals the 5n squared plus 10n. So let's put together everything here on the left. We have 5n squared plus 10n on the right. What do we have here? 2n squared plus 3n squared is 5n squared. 10n plus 9, I got 19n, and then the number 12. Well, if I subtract 5n from both sides, what happens? They go away. That's convenient, isn't it? And now, if you want, just move your 19n over, subtract 19n from both sides. I get 12 is equal to negative 9n, divide by negative 9, and we have our answer which is what, negative 1? Now it goes in one whole time with 3 left over out of the 9, but what is 3 ninths? 1 third. So it's negative 1, and 1 third is our solution here, or negative 1.3 with a bar over it repeating. Not difficult, it just takes, you got to make sure you don't make any little mistakes.